tears or strains in the hamstring complex are relatively common in the athletic population. The location of these tears can show up either in the middle of the muscle belly or at the musculotendinous junctions at the proximal and distal ends of the muscle. In general, strains or tears are described in three separate grades. Grade ones are extremely common, have minimal effect on the functionality of the muscle and visible uh, limitations like swelling or bruising that might inhibit a person from psychologically performing. Uh, recovery time can be one to two weeks and back to 100%. Grade two strains are a little bit more serious. It affects more muscle fibers. You expect minimal swelling, slight bruising are a possibility, and a restriction in performance can uh, last for up to two to three months. And grade threes, which are less common, uh, but a very serious injury, uh, which in the wrong locations can do things like dislocate joints, but at the very least create excessive damage to the tissue itself, uh, and often is accompanied with a popping sensation. This will disconnect the muscles <clears throat> in such an extreme way that they can roll up towards their attachments. Uh, and you will see uh, immediately swelling and bruising in the area. Long term, there will be what's called denting, potential denting in the skin, where it is clear that tissue is missing or areas where it is excessive and scar tissue has built up. For this population, we need to focus on therapeutic recovery, uh, body work around the scar tissue, and they need to seek muscular retraining of those tissues. While any ballistic or plyometric activity has the risk of tearing these muscles. The most common is in things like sprinting, where the hip combines uh, extreme flexion in combination with knee extension. This position of hip flexion with knee extension under uh, explosive conditions puts this muscle under maximum eccentric load and uh, doesn't give the neurology time to catch up, creating these grade two and grade three strains.